What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name is Yash. I'm a second year college student studying business in Ahmedabad, India. On this channel, I post videos related to self-help productivity and all the good stuff which can really help you elevate you and your lifestyle. Now, I put up two videos every week, one every Thursday and one every Sunday. The Sunday one is a podcast episode featuring some really amazing guests. So, if you want to check that out, feel free to. But moving on, in this video, we're going to be talking about what are the different freelancing sites which are there and how you can, you know, build your profiles on these sites to make sure that you get the best gigs in town. And other than that, we're also going to be talking about what's the difference between all these sites, you know, like we have Fiverr, we have Freelancer, we have a lot of different sites. So what is the difference between them? Are they all the same? Which one should you go for for a specific field and all the good stuff related to all the different freelancing sites coming straight up. So let's drop that intro first. Alright guys, so right off the bat, first of all, there are a couple of prerequisites of course that you need to fulfill before you get even into the freelancing world and hope for any success. And that is, first of all, you need to develop a skill. And if you do not have an idea about which skill you should develop exactly, then click the I in the top corner right now and you will be taken straight to a video which I made about which skills you should develop or which fields should you try out as a person if you know you are of a specific type. So you can just check it out, you'll know what I'm exactly what exactly I'm talking about. And the second thing you need is that uh, you need to have some sort of work experience. So if you're someone who's into photography or videography, make a portfolio. If you're someone who's into content writing, start a blog or uh, you know start a Instagram page that's also quite popular nowadays and just showcase some work you have done. An alternative could be to just work for free for a bit and just to you know collect some experience before you can go on these sites. So with all that aside now, those are the two pre prerequisites that you really, really need to have before you start getting real gigs in the freelancing industry but let's consider that you have gotten these two done what next? let's go see that here we are considering that you have gotten the prerequisites taken care of now which are the sites you could look at? you can look at Fiverr Fiverr is one of the greatest and one of the best and easiest freelancing sites that I have personally used in the past so uh, for those of you who do not know, I have almost 5 years of work ex as a content writer. I've been doing it since class 10. So in that time when I started out, uh, I was not able to get internships as such. So I used to you know, just look for freelance gigs on Fiverr. And the best thing about Fiverr is that most of the clients which are on Fiverr are clients which are from the United States or somewhere in Europe. Like that's the most common demographic there so most of them pay you in dollars and being from india for them paying you like 25 30 dollars for writing a 100 word blog isn't much of a deal but for you that's quite a lot that's almost 3k 4k for just one blog article so definitely it's very high paying if you know how to capitalize on that opportunity now one of the most common you know problem which people face is that once they get on these sites they are not able to get their first client now there are a couple of things you can do to you know speed up that process of getting your first client the first one is kind of the so called ethical manner and the second one would not exactly be ethical but definitely it would help you out if you use it in the right way with the right intentions so the first way would be to find someone in your society or in your locality or you know in your network who actually needs a gig done so let's say you know uh, you are in a college and you are doing an internship somewhere and they want to you know get a gig done so what you tell them is that you know instead of paying you directly for that gig they uh, you know book you for that gig over on the freelancing platforms Fiverr, Freelancer, Upwork whichever one you prefer and they pay you through that so that way your credibility as a freelancer on these sites is increased and especially with the ratings that you know the people who have already uh, you know gotten work done from you increases and that helps you get better clients and get clients faster in the long run now the second thing it's kind of unethical 
but I would still tell you guys because it definitely helps uh, people out is that to you know there are many Facebook groups out there which are just made for this purpose so let's say if you go on that Facebook group there will be like you know tens of thousands of people who will be also you know on the same journey as you are and they would also want to you know get their first gig done so you do a gig for gig kind of barter trade so let's say you have a gig for five dollars and another person has a gig for five dollars five dollars so what you do is that you interchange gigs so you pay each other five dollars it nullifies it and both of you rate each other like you know the best five star rating you give each other and that way when an actual customer is looking at your profile they see that they you already have a bit of work experience done so they tend to trust you a lot more but then again definitely something that i would like to point out is that if you're using the second method do not use it if you do not have experience at all so if let's say you were saying that yeah i know how to do photoshop and you know you get you use the second method and you get the ratings through that method but in reality you're using canva to you know make those uh, you know make those projects then do not do that because the clients find that out and that's bad even for you you as you know a person and even for the client because they may suffer massive massive losses so do not do that for sure so if you're sure that you do have a skill set which you can capitalize on which you can help people with and you're still not able to get clients then use the second method and you know then try and get people to you know just use that Facebook wala method if that suits you now this, uh, the last thing which I would like to say in this video would definitely be to capitalize on LinkedIn I'm going to be making a separate video especially on LinkedIn and there I'll talk to you about how to you know increase your reach and your growth on LinkedIn but for now just know that there are a lot of companies which need work done depending on which field you are in this is a general video so I won't deep dive into you know like all the different fields but in general just know that there are a lot of companies which need, which need a lot of work done and most of you know the employees of those companies look for freelancers on LinkedIn as well so if you are someone who has a very unique skill set or you have niche down so let's say like if you're a content writer and you specialize in marketing content so you can approach the marketing heads of different companies and tell them that you're good at this this is what you do and definitely you can try and get a gig through that place as well so that covers it up whereas i'll just link all the major freelancing websites which are there in the description down below so make sure to check those out I will link uh, the ones which I have personally used I would not link the ones which I have not used so I've used Fiverr, I've used Upwork, I've used Freelance so these three are the ones which I've used the most so I'll link them down below, download them see for yourselves, I'll also see if I can link a couple of those Facebook groups down there just for ease of access and that's it guys, thanks a lot for watching till next time, take care, goodbye, peace